Hi there, I'm Wes Kennedy, a TME on the Nutanix tech marketing team. In our last video, I walked you through deploying Nutanix objects. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through creating a bucket and then giving a user's key access to that bucket. Let's hop right in. First, we'll create a bucket by going into our object store and clicking Create Bucket. Inside there, you can set the bucket name as well as choose various options for that bucket. Today, we'll just call it Test Bucket 1. As you can see, we can enable versioning and on the versioning, we can actually give it a date to delete the versions after they've been created. We can also expire current objects after a certain period of time. This is helpful if you have some objects that you want to get rid of after their certain age, just to ensure that you're not keeping things too long. We'll go further into versioning and objects later. We can also configure worm on our buckets. Worm just stands for write once, read many, and is great for dealing with compliance reasons, backups, or dealing with ransomware. It's important to note that after you enable Worm, you have 24 hours to change your mind. After that, Nutanix support cannot remove it either. Buckets can also be configured to be static websites and serve your content, such as images or the websites themselves. All you need to do is set your index and your 404 pages, or you can set a redirect as well. When you drill into a bucket, you can see related performance information, as well as configure user access to the said bucket. So we're going to go in and we're going to create an access key for my user. My user is not in a directory service, so I'm going to choose that option, type in my email address and name, and then click Next. Make sure to save your keys somewhere safe because they will only be shown once. Now that my user is created, I can go in and edit the user access to grant me access to that bucket. And that's all there is to it. Today we created a bucket and gave a user's key access to that bucket on Nutanix objects. As we saw, there are a lot of features such as worm, versioning, static website, and many others that we'll be needing to dig into a little bit further in our following videos. I hope this was helpful. Try this out for yourself on Nutanix Test Drive. Thank you, and have a good day.